Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that. Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Fantastic, baby. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today. Oh, we have a local beer just in time for the holidays. It's from the Fatheads Brewing Company now. They're located in Middleburg Heights, Ohio. This is the Holly Jolly Christmas sale, baby. Ooh, but it's nothing to play around with. Chill out, man. Have a beer. That's what it says. Hey, I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget it. Checks in at 7.5% alcohol by volume and 28 IBUs. Let's go ahead and put it in our bowl here just in case we have any axomadents. That's right, axomadents. Now, if you don't watch my channel all the time, you don't know what that means. Axomadents, yeah, axomadents, like edumacation and applimacation. Everything's got an M in it. I'm going to go ahead and use this lovely glassware, although I have plenty of glassware from Fatheads. This will do just fine. Oh, oh, look at that. What do you think? Mahogany? I'm going to go with mahogany. Tan-colored head? Tan. Well, maybe not. Let's go with beige. Beige-colored head. Yeah, tan is a little bit darker. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. I'll tell you one thing. There's some nice malts in here. I can tell you that for sure. But I get a little Christmas spice in there as well. I'm talking about a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of vanilla. Mmm, boy. That's some nice carbonation. You can't see that. You can't quite. The camera doesn't quite pick that up, man. I need a, a higher definition camera. Oh, this is fine, man. This is a great laptop right here. This is a, a laptop that I got on QVC on Black Friday a couple of years ago. Man, this laptop right here for the price. The price was right, and it's got feature-rich. I'm telling you, it's feature-rich. Touchscreen, no doubt about it. It's got SSD uh, hard drive with one terabyte. That's enough said. All right, then. Let's go ahead and drink this beer. But before we do, we always have to pay homage to the brewers because without the brewers, we would have no beer. So many thanks to the brewers there at Fatheads in Middleburg Heights, Ohio. And many thanks to you for watching. Cheers. Oh, jeez. Woo-wee. Woo, my goodness. I tell you what, the aroma belies that flavor. Let's drink some more, baby. Wow. Wow. That's got some sweetness in it. I'm not quite sure where that sweetness is coming from. Ooh, there is definitely some cinnamon and some vanilla in here, but I'm not quite sure where that sweetness is coming from. Could be the malts in here. I don't know. Let's go ahead and switch the contents of this can and go for it. Let's see what happens now. <laughs> Ooh, wait, look at that foam on that beer. You got to admit, that's a lovely look of beer. You know what? I, I would say there's some brown sugar in here. That's what I would say. Some brown sugar. That's what it tastes like to me. It's extremely, well, I shouldn't say extremely. It's quite sweet. It's quite sweet. Uh, absolutely, positively, without a doubt, there's some cinnamon in here. There's some lovely toasted malts in here. Uh, there's some vanilla in here. And I'm going to say brown sugar. 
Mm, went right in my nose, but that's okay. Man, that would be a great accompaniment to the Christmas meal or the Thanksgiving Day meal because this beer came out uh, early in uh, November. So you can go ahead and have this with Thanksgiving or Christmas. I don't know what your family did, but in my house, our uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas meals were almost identical. We always had the same food. Uh, we'd have turkey. We'd have corn. We'd have mashed potatoes. We'd have sweet potatoes. Uh, we always had cranberry sauce. Yeah, just the whole nine yards. And uh, everybody who came, they came, they saw, they ate. They left with a big stomach. <laughs> yeah, those were the days. Yeah, mom and grandmother. And they cooked and they spent hours in the kitchen, man. They'd get up at uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. And, uh, yeah, we'd all eat by 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. And then we'd have another meal around 7 or 8. And in between, the old timers would fall asleep on the sofa in the, in the lazy chair. <laughs> and now I'm the old timer. So, yeah. <laughs> Hey, isn't that funny how, how uh, life goes, huh? But yeah, this is a great beer, man. You see it's maintained its uh its head there and it's got some lacing on the side of the glassware. Um, you can go ahead and stir it up a little bit and bring it back to life. Oh boy, it's coming back to life big time. Look at that. Yeah. Uh this beer is best served warm, not cold. And I thought I'd let it warm up enough, but it's still cool in my hand. So as this warms for about another 10 minutes or so, it's going to bring forth even more aromas and flavors than what it has right now. Oh, man. Yeah. That's uh, that's a great beer, I tell you. Got that brown sugar in there. Sweet brown sugar. <laughs> the Holly Jolly Christmas Ale from Fatheads. Man, if you've never tried any beer from Fatheads, you've been missing out for years. I don't know what their distribution network is, but, man, I'm telling you, uh, try your best to get some beer from Fatheads because you won't be disappointed. They have some great beer. There's no doubt about it. Gold medal winners most of the time. Well, yeah, I tell you what, this is a this is definitely, without a doubt, a full-bodied beer with full mouthfeel and medium carbonation. And if you get this beer, it's a sipping beer. It's not a straightaway beer, man, because a lot of spices in here, man. You'll uh, you'll be like this. You'll be, oh my gosh, my head is spinning around and around. <laughs> yeah. All right, my friends, not to worry. Life is short. Let's be happy. And to that end, until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers. Okay, everyone. As promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry. I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina, and they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. Now, I think they, they charged me $2. $2 for 12 beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower 48, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be 100% sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast. And if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them. And they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated, and if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know.
So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio, they specialize in Ohio beers, uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway, they have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it less it weighs less uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German Beer of the Month Club. So I get 12 bottles from six different breweries, two of each, once a month. And there's a lot of beers in there that I've never heard of from Germany. I thought I had them all, not even close. And then I have the Around the World Beer Club, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's beers from all over the world. So far, I only got one beer that I didn't really like. Uh, you know, it happens. It happens. And, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, they're out of San Diego, and they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mmm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12 bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just uh, a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all, all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon.com. It's called a Vacuvin, Vacuvin. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. And it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer. But I like my Pilsner's cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I, I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Dave's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. and um, this is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Dave's Cheap-Ass Beer Reviews. 
Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera. But I would sell these uh, at cost. Now I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me fourteen ninety eight to uh, to have those made. So I would sell them at the same price. Now I don't know the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, but I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.